In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs as an input into your Yahoo Pipes. If you haven't already, please go back and watch the using a CSV file as input first because this demo builds on that one, the same loop module, filter module, and sort module, as well as the um, fetch CSV module, which we'll use in just a minute. So the first place to start here is with your Google Doc. So what you want to do is have a Google spreadsheet with a column name in your first row. In this case, I use CSV URLs and then any inputs that you want to put into your Yahoo pipe. In this case, the inputs are for URLs. The next thing you want to do is you want to share this file, but you want to publish it as a web page. So we'll click publish now and then select automatically republish when changes are made so that any changes that you make are automatically automatically made when you uh, save the spreadsheet. Then you want to copy this URL and go back to your Yahoo Pipes. Give it a fetch CSV module. You're going to enter in the URL and then the trick here is that uh, as this URL is, it's not a CSV file, so you'll need to add ampersand output equals CSV so that Yahoo Pipes recognizes it as a CSV file. Then you want to make sure that you've used rows one to one, one to one as column names if you've done that in your spreadsheet. If not, you can choose a column name here as well. We're going to connect it to the rest of the pipe so this just loops through and fetches the feeds that we have in the spreadsheet and then filters them for just the words containing Google and Yahoo, which is what the original CSV pipe did. We'll click Save, and then when we run the pipe, we should see just the, ter just the posts matching the terms that we've listed in our um, filter from the four URLs that we have in the spreadsheet.